there comes another one. There's just no end to the work. Hey, farmer, it's been a good year. We can hardly keep up with the corn grinding. We needed this badly. For three weeks, we've been eating leek soup. That's more than anyone can take. Can you grind this for me? At home, we're already heated our oven. Yes, yes, everything's in a hurry. Fast. We'll manage somehow. Good, good. I'm depending on you. See you tomorrow. Carl, Yup, Hans, come here. The farmer wants his corn ground by tomorrow. Oh, oh my back. I'm getting old. What's wrong with you? Aren't you well? I'm okay. It's just my back and my legs aren't up to it anymore. It's just too much work for me. It's time for me to retire. I won't live much longer anyway. But, Father, you live to be a hundred years old. No, no, Hans, no, I don't fool myself. I should divide my property between you now. I don't want that there should be fights about the inheritance later. It's not much that I have to leave you, but I hope you'll make the best of it. Of course, Father. You can rely on us. Good. So now, Carl, as you as my eldest son, we'll get the mill. The mill? Yup. As the second eldest, you will get the donkey. <coughs> and as for you, Hans, I unfortunately have only our tomcat to give. After all, you're the youngest of you three. Just the cat? But how am I supposed to earn money? I said no fighting. Now get back to work. The farmer needs his corn. Yeah. No fighting, he said. Well, that's easy to say to Carl and you. At least they can do something with their inheritance. Carl can grind corn in the mill, and Yup can transport it away on his donkey. They'll both earn enough money. Oh, stop. It's all very well that you follow me around, but what can I do with you, dumb old tomcat? Maybe make a fur hat out of you, that's all. A fur hat? He's not all there. Well, as raggedy as you look, you're not even good enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to become of me? I'll probably have to starve to death. Hmm, well, actually, one can feel sorry for him. He was always pretty decent to me. Never pulled my tail when he was small. His brothers were worse. Hmm. Hey, Hans. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Don't look so disappointed, Hans. I'll see to it that you don't starve. I think I've gone crazy. Did I just think that that cat spoke to me? Next thing, I'll be seeing white mice. Rubbish. Stay where you are, it's true. I can talk. And a couple other nice things, too. Hmm? This can't be. He really is talking to me. That astounds you, huh? So now, listen to me. I will help you, but you have to do a little bit, too. Hmm? And what's that? All I need is a sack and a pair of boots. Then I can be seen in public if you can get them for me. You'll soon see that it's not all that bad to inherit a cat. Anything else? Okay, okay. If I'm going to be crazy, then I may as well do it right. What do I have to lose? What was it, a sack and a pair of boots? Wow. And if you hurry, look over there. There goes the shoemaker. Call him. The sooner I get the boots, the better it'll be for you. Oh, very well. I'll spend my last money on a pair of cat boots. Hey, shoemaker, come here. I've worked for you. I need a pair of boots. No problem, son. Go into the house. I'll be right there. I'd love the boots to be bright red. So, Hans, take off your slippers. I need to measure you. No, no, the boots aren't for me. It's my cat that wants them. Ha! 
Red ones. He wants red boots. <laughs> so far, you all made a good impression. But as far as I'm concerned, as long as you can pay, I don't care what boots you want. Only show me your paws. I hope this isn't a bad investment. Boots for a cat? <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Really over the top. You can pick up the boots tomorrow. Here are your boots. Bright red, just as you wanted. Hmm, not bad. I like them. And now what? That was my last money that I paid the shoemaker. You won't regret it. Now I need a sack. Okay, okay, a sack and a pair of boots. <coughs> well, <coughs> how do I look? Hmm, I don't know, really. Quite unusual. Like a puss in boots. Here's your sack. Oh, wonderful. And you really don't want to tell me what you need this costume for? Just you wait. You'll see. see if you're really as smart as everyone says. Don't worry, I'll get one of you yet. There you are. It's a, it's a cat, a puss in boots. This is too much. Look, look, he's coming towards us. Hey, you there? Let me in. I must see the king immediately. He wants to see the king. Away with you. Disappear. And right now, too. You will be fired immediately if the king finds out that you stopped me seeing him. I have a present for him. Aww. I don't think you can scare me. Huh. But okay, go on in. Maybe the king will have a good laugh. Maybe he'd like to laugh at a crazy cat, but don't start any nonsense. Mr. King? Mr. King? Not now, not now. Mr. King, look here, I have a present for you. Later. A cat. A puss in boots. Amusing. Très amusant. Mr. King, my lord, the Earl, ordered me to present your majesty with a present. Sheesh. Hmm, let me see. Oh, a rabbit. A beautiful tan rat. Oh, my hunters haven't been able to bring me one for weeks. Jacques. Your Majesty. Bring this glorious rabbit to cook immediately. He should roast it for me right away. Very well, Your Majesty. <laughs> mm. What a wonderful present. How did you master know that rabbit is my favorite dish? But, Mr. King, everyone... It doesn't matter. He must know it somehow. <laughs> the main thing is roast rabbit. Hmm. Ooh la 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 la. I must show him my gratitude. Aww. Here, give your master this piece of gold and wish him well from me. Oh, you are too generous, Your Majesty. Aww. And uh, if you're hungry, yeah, take him to the kitchen and give him something to eat. I'll bring you another present tomorrow, and until then...
Oh. A little unusual, that cat, but très joli, très joli. Hello, everyone. Well, what do you want to hear? Get out of my kitchen, all right, now. Hey, hey, take it easy. The king sent me. You're supposed to give me something to eat. Well, I'd be a pork miserie. Go find your mice and yourself out with you. Get out! Wait, cook. This pretty cat had brought the king that rabbit. I would also like him to move on because he's losing hair. Who's losing hair? Which two of us is losing hair, huh? But that is... I don't believe it is. Well, am I going to get anything to eat or not? Oh, well, very well. How could the signore like his mouse? Boiled or fried, huh? Don't go to any trouble, Cook. I enjoy it raw. That piece of meat and... That looks quite tasty there. And suppose I'm supposed to serve you on a golden platter, huh? But I tell you one thing, if the king gets any strange, I look for a new job. Yes, I'm out of here. <laughs> I must have been totally crazy spending my last money on a pair of boots. Cat boots? He's probably over Hill and Dale by now. Well, I don't think that's very nice of you to talk like that about me. Here. But, but, where'd you get this? from the king. He sends you his best regards and his gratitude. Gratitude? What for? Aha! One has to be clever. The king is very fond of rabbit and pheasant and that sort of thing. And so I just caught him a rabbit and that was all. My clever cat. Now I'm richer than Yup and Carl together. Ah, well, the few pieces of gold are quite all right, but I've decided to make you really rich. I'm off again tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I told the king that you were an earl. Sounds better, no? <laughs> but cat, me and an earl? I hope he never meets me. you little partridges, you lovely things. The king is so fond of you. I'm sure the king will be very happy with this. Probably get a lot of gold pieces. again, wants to walk in and out, just as he chooses. Well, are you going to let me in this time without complaining? <laughs> Go on in. You see, Princess, just as I said, he actually kept his word. Hmm, looks cute, a puss in boots. Mm, I'm curious to know what he has brought me this time. Mm, good day, lovely child. You don't look like your father at all. <laughs> here, Mr. King, look here, wonderful partridges, a present from my master, the Earl. Oh, Partridges, partridge, our favorite dish, not so my daughter. Oh, nippa, nippa, shuck! At your service, your majesty. At your service, your majesty. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong with him? Off with him to take the partridges to the cook to be roasted. Very well, Your Majesty. Give this to your master and thank him once again. And go to the kitchen again if you like. Uh, let them give you something to eat, right? And how I want to. The cook and I are already the best of friends. <laughs> Must be a strange girl to have a puss in boots as a servant. No, oh, why not? 
think that's very amusing. Très amusant, no? Oh, well, I just don't know. Really extraordinaire, this pussycat. Where are you off to? You promised to go for a ride with me. <laughs> if I have to, but uh, but after dinner. Hello, everyone. It's me again. Meow. Oh, you again. If anyone had told me I have to cook for a cat, I would have become a coachman. What do you mean? Being a coachman isn't exactly a piece of cake. Just when I wanted to go to the pub for to have a beer or two, who calls me but the princess, who orders me to span the horses to the carriage because she decided to go for a ride with her dear father. Aw, the king and the princess want to go for a ride. Hmm, this could be the opportunity. Meow. What do they have to go out riding for when they have legs, huh? That's what I ask you. Jay, just a look at that. He's a left of the good food here. He better not come in here again wanting a food that had a stupid old cat. Quick, come with me. But why? Oh, man, don't ask such stupid questions. We must go to the lake now. Do we really have to? Hans. Oh, very well, I'm coming. And now what? That's going too far. You can't take my clothes like that. Come back immediately. Oh, stop moaning and messing with my plans. But I can't get out of here without clothes. Be quiet now, or you'll ruin the lovely plan. Stop the coach. Cloudy, yeah, somebody's calling for help. Mm, well, I'll be. Let the devil take me. It's that cat in boots again. Hmm. But, but, but it's... Uh, oh, what happened? Tell me. Oh, most merciful king. My master was bathing in the lake, and a thief came and stole all his clothes. Now the earl is in the water and can't get out. If he stays in there much longer, he will catch a cold or maybe die. <laughs> That's all there is. Help is on the way. Drive back to the palace and fetch new clothes for the Earl. Damn it. They don't know what they want. First here, then there, then back, then here. Come, my daughter, let's go and greet the Earl. Uh-oh, if the princess sees me like this... Where is the Earl, your master? I can't see him. Mm, that idiot. I hope he hasn't run away. He's gone behind the reeds. Um, he dare not show himself to the king without any clothes. You're right, you're right, you're right. That wouldn't be the dumb thing. Brr, your servant packed the clothes together. If they don't fit, it's not my fault. Here, yeah, my dear friend, take the clothes to your master so that I can finally get to meet him. <laughs> I'm really curious. My lord, the Earl. I thank you most profusely, my lord king, that you've helped me in my need. I shall always be in your debt. Hmm, Hans is not so dumb after all. He's doing that really well. Well, what did I tell you, princess? My clothes suit him pretty well. I never thought he'd be so young and good-looking. I hope the presents my servant brought you were to your liking. Oh, I must say, my dear sir, Earl, I've seldom eaten tastier rabbit or partridge. Ask him if he'd like to come with us. Come on. Oh, very well, very well. How would you like to come into our carriage and join us for a ride? There's nothing I'd rather do. Mm, 
it's working like magic. Tell me, my good people, who does this lovely field belong to? The Great Magician. That's what I thought. The king will soon ride by, and if you don't say that this field belongs to the Earl, I'll kill you all. <gasps> the best the wizard says, let the rich quarrel among themselves. <laughs> I certainly scare the devil out of them. <sighs> Stop, stop, stop here. Brrr, bloody hell. Now what's the problem? Stop, start. Stop, start. King Armour, come here. Who does this wonderful field belong to? The Great Magician. Are you crazy? Uh, the Great Earl, of course. Ooh la la. A nice piece of land he has, this Earl. Oh, mm, yes. What's up? Are we driving or not? Oui, oui. You can drive on. It's so difficult to get good help nowadays. Hey, everyone. Who does this big meadow belong to? Hmm, what now? Have you all lost your tongues? I asked you something. <laughs> Can't I didn't talk. And wearing boots and walking around like a human being. The, 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 the meadow belongs to the great magician. Good. Now pay attention. The king will drive by soon, and if he asks who the meadow belongs to, you must answer the earl. If you can't do that, uh, I'll kill you all. Oh, do as he says. He's bound to be sent by the magician to test us. Well, what do you know? It's working. Coachman, coachman! Okay, okay, I'm stopping already. This way I'll never get to the pub today. Who does this meadow belong to, my good people? Say the Earl or that puss in boots will kill us. The meadow belongs to the Lord Earl. I must say, my lord, mon dieu, mon dieu, I don't have this much land myself. No wonder you have the tastiest morsels brought to me. Oh, that damn cat. What the devil? Hmm, that's rather pretty. The right castle for an earl. Hmm. Hey, you there. Does the castle belong to the magician? Of course, you stupid cat. Everyone knows that. Get out of my way. I want to see the magician. Come on in. The magician will have his fun with you. Meeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a black cat by the toe. Make a nasty black hat drink to make the people sick, I think. Great magician. Hey, what are you doing here? I was passing by your castle by chance and decided to use the opportunity to see such a rich and powerful man. You're right. I am the richest, most powerful man in the area. Exactly what I've heard. And you can change yourself into any animal you choose. Is that true? Of course, into any animal I fancy. Hmm, I'm convinced you could change yourself into a dog or a fox or anything normal like that. Hmm, but whether you can change into an enormous animal, like, for example, an elephant, I'm inclined to doubt that. Would you try for me? <laughs> That's nothing to me. A thousand grains of sand on a golden beach, I'm an elephant! Wow. Hard to believe. But can you change into a dangerous lion? Ha! 
<laughs> Child's play. Help! Help! <laughs> Did I frighten you, you silly cat? Yes, I'm the greatest, most powerful, and best magician there is. Frightened by my eye. I must say, I'm very impressed. Meow. Oh, this is fun. Would you like another sample of my talent? So far, you've only changed into animals that are larger than yourself, but can you change into something smaller than you, like a tiny mouse? You probably can't. Or can you? I would like to see that. There's nothing that I can't do, you stupid cat. Watch this! Meow! <laughs> 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 Doesn't taste bad for a magician. <laughs> Bloody hell, a castle, a castle. The fine gentlefolk were probably wished to stop here as well. Mon Dieu, a wonderful castle. Look, daughter, a marvelous building. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if now I come and admit it. <laughs> It's your castle, isn't it? Hmm? Come along. Um, well, uh, I, I don't know. No, 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 no false modesty, my son. Come, coachman, drive to the gate. The Earl will show us his property. I knew it. Uh oh, now the whole thing will go up in smoke. I should never have listened to that cat from the very beginning. Welcome to the Earl's Castle. Oh. I don't believe it. Come along now, my dear Earl. I'm curious to see the inside and what you have to offer us. Did I say that or didn't I? That's how it goes. It's always the same. They're off to fill their bellies and the two of us can't get anything to drink. As though only the fine folk get thirsty, right or wrong. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. I've taken the liberty to prepare a little something. Ooh la la, fantastique, fantastique. Now tell me how you did this. Later. But now, sit down with your guests and eat. Ma qui est Qu'est-ce que c'est? My daughter, you're not eating. Nor are you, my lord. Oh. In love. Come on. The two of them are in love. They don't need to eat. Oh la la, l'amour, l'amour, c'est très joli. Well, why not? Also, you two have my blessing. Hey, I said something. Are you listening? Excuse me, Your Majesty. I was just with my thoughts somewhere else. Je comprends, je comprends. It's quite clear. So one more time, you may take my daughter to wife and have half the kingdom as a wedding gift.